Okay, in the last video we had gone through a bunch of examples like this where we multiply the term out in the distributive property. Here we're going to continue that and, and hopefully try some ones that are a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's try one here. We have m n, right, times m plus n. I you might find this easier. I, I find it more difficult because we have no coefficients or numbers to work with, only variables. So first we have m n times m. That's going to be I'll write this m n times m. We can change the order of these two because we're multiplying. That will be m times m times n. And this m times m is going to be m to the second power n. So I mean, one thing to look at right away is that if you have if multiplying variables and you're multiplying two of the same, you know right away that variable will be raised to the second power. There's no other n in this term right here, so it's just going to be m squared n. That's our first term. What about our next term? Well, now we have m n right times n, and almost you know this time it's almost the reverse. We have multiplying two n's, so it's m to this times n to the second power. That's a, that's a tongue twister for me. And we're adding this, right? And don't, I mean, you might think you can go further here, and I, I understand because you see m's and n's, but notice the m's and n's are to different powers or at different exponents, so we can't really combine. All right, well, let's, let's try some others. A couple more here. In the next example, we're starting with negative a b times a minus b. Similar, but to the last one, except of course now we have a negative term. What do we do? Well, negative ab times a. That's our first combination. What's that? Negative ab times a. Well, again, we can reverse the order here and think of this as negative a times a times b. What's this right here? Well, I would, I would this negative term, I would think of it as negative 1 times a times a times b. So almost like to pull this negative sign out because you can confuse where it is and I and I think that often leads to mistakes. Here you can do this, right? Negative one times a is negative a. It's the same thing. Multiplying by negative one won't change your value. But I think this allows you to regroup and see that no matter what we're multiplying here, in the end we're multiplying by negative one. So since there's one negative term, this whole product will be negative. It's a basic concept, right? We're multiplying positives and negatives. So here we have a times a, which is a squared, b, and it's going to be negative, and we redistribute that negative 1. So our first term is negative a squared, b, and then we're going to subtract, well, we're subtracting b, and now, same idea, but now we have a negative times a negative, so it's going to be positive. There's two b's that we're multiplying, so it's a times b to the second power. And now we're done with that one. We've got a few more. Next one I think is a little bit tougher because we also have coefficients. Here we have 3ab times 5a squared minus 7b squared. What do we do? Well, we're going to distribute this to each term on the inside, just like we've been doing all along. In terms of patterns, I would just multiply the coefficients. You get 15. In terms of variables, well, Multiply the matching variables. Here you're multiplying out three a's, so it's a to the third. There's no other b's, so it's just going to be b. Minus, well now 7 times 3, which is 21. a is all, all alone, all by itself, and b times b squared is b to the third. So we're almost done. I think I've got one more. Yes. Okay, so this one's I think the nastiest one of all, so I saved it for last. Negative a cubed b cubed times negative 2 a to the fourth b minus 3 b to the fourth. What do we do? Well, again, try and keep track. that This first term is just a negative number, something negative. And this is going to be negative, so your first term, whatever the combination, will be positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. And then we're subtracting again, so we have a negative times another negative, so we're going to add. So we have a positive something plus a positive. And what's it going to be? Well, here, right, a to the third times a to the fourth, that's seven a's, right, in terms of exponents, it's a to the seventh. 
b times b to the third is b to the fourth. And, well, we just have the two there. And then we're going to add our next part. I ran out of room, sorry about that. And we have three, well, b to the fourth. Here there's three b's already, so that's b to the seventh. But a to the third is still going to be there. So anyway, that's how we solve this one. I hope you're getting a sense or an intuition of what's happening.